Orange on the inside of Senzalano. Cloth Cap is behind those. Cobra to Mai is, I think, being pulled up the top of the hill. And uh, they run downhill then, and it continues to be thrown on. Man of the Mountain second, Senzalano is next. West approach behind this cloth cap is in company with those. It does look as if the others have been pulled up as they head down to three from the finish. The blue and white throwed on from the green and white of Man of the Mountain. West approach in orange colours behind those. Sensolano, the pink jacket, weakens now. She's back in fifth position. Cloth Cap has gone past her as they run on towards uh, the home turn of the last couple of fences. And as they do so, Vivas is still going back in the field. Frodon has the advantage. Frodon leading to, in second place, Man of the Mountain. West approach behind those. And then comes Cloth Cap will turn in in fourth position. Sensolano behind those, heading then to the second last. Frodon, they've all tried to have a go at getting past him. None of them have managed it so far. Man of the Mountain has weakened his back in fourth. West approaches the one nearest to Frodon at the last. Frodon, a big leap over, over it, landed by two to three lengths. West approach in second. Cloth Cap is next, then Man of the Mountain. Senzalano behind those. All of the others have been pulled up. They all tried to get to Frodon. West approach is still trying, but ultimately he's going to Fail. Frodo made all with Bryony Frost. Top weight to victory. West approaching second. Cl Field into the turn. Then Cloudy Dream. Flying Angel coming under stronger pressure. And Wado is last of all as they turn on in to face this final line of three fences. Frodo and Bryony Frost with the advantage. Value at risk in the centre. Theo on the left. Javert in the dark blue and white right behind him with Cloudy Dream. The nose banded grey pulling out. Then Temple Hills. Flying Angel struggling to get on terms. And then Voido. Frodon pouring it on. Here's the second last. Theo now giving chase. Snatched at it. Then Javert from Cloudy Dream Temple. Hills value at risk. Weakening away. The long run down to the final fence of the Monet's Garden. Old Roan. Frodon here trying to defy top weight in the hands of promising conditional Briony Frost. Javert and Cloudy Dream are giving chase. Trying to close. Frodon will need a good jump at the last. Got it. But only landed length clear. Cloudy Dream. Javert threading the eye of the needle. Frodon digging in very good. Gamely. Javert inching a bit closer, but Frodon is finding plenty for Bryony Frost, and Frodon takes the Monet's Garden Old Roan chase. Javert in second, Cloudy Dream third. Very close for fourth between Temple Hills and Theo. Soy, Guitar Pete, Foxtail Hill creeping into it all the time. Dreadful mistake by Mr. Medic, but a great recovery by James Best. He'll need to regather those. They race on down the hill towards the last three fences, and Frodon and Baron Alco having a great old ding dong here as they approach the third last. Sipage waited with behind in third place as they go over the third last together. Mr. Medic is recovering well to challenge again on the inside. They're racing down the hill. They've got a, quite a run before they get to the last two fences in the Caspian Caviar Gold Cup of 2018. And Sapar travels strongly on the outside of Frodon as Baron Alco gives way in third. Mr. Medic in fourth, Guitar Pete fifth. And as they approach the second last, it's Bryony Frost and Frodon from Sapage and Charlie Deutsch. They race up towards it now. Nothing between them. Frodon just ahead of Sapage. Another big leap there by Frodon, who races up towards the final fence. He leads by three lengths. Sapage has got a pick up again. Here's the final fence now. Frodon is over clear from Sepage and they're about 10 clear of Guitar Pete and Frodon clear up the hill inside the final 100 yards. He's going to come back here and win the Caspian Caviar Gold Cup for the second time in three years. And he goes on to win by a couple of lengths for a rallying Sipage in second place. It was a good effort by the runner-up, but Frodon, a great performance with Bryony Frost. Third then was Guitar Pete and Baron Alco Gallant in fourth. In translation, who now comes under a ride and gets a reminder. Final ditch, five out, Frodon still leads the way, Santini over in second, St. Calvados Black Op, Real Steel, Clande Zobo still being driven, but he's now ahead of Surname and also waiting patiently, lost in translation, drops out the back of the field, Surname is now beginning to be ridden, last the main body of the field as Black Op has dropped away and now they're beginning to make the turn, there was also a mistake at the fourth last by Santini and that appears to have put him very much now on the back foot and it's Frodon. He's got many of them working.
looking in behind now. He leads by nearly two lengths to St. Calvados in second. Can he stay the trip? Clande Zobo has been off the bit for a long time, but he's hanging on in there. He doesn't want to see his crown go. Pulled up surname at the back of the field. Lost in translations also being pulled up. They're over the third from home, and Frodon still has the lead to St. Calvados, and then Clande Zobo waiting patiently from a long way back. Two out in the King George, and Frodon still has the lead with Bryony Frost. The lead is about two and a half lengths to St. Calvados. Waiting patiently begins to fly in the hands of Brian Hughes. Has he got enough time to beg back Frodon? Frodon over the final fence, led by three lengths. Waiting patiently, he's running out of time inside the final half furlong. Frodon is out in front for his biggest prize of all. Frodon has taken the King George. Waiting patiently in second, followed home by Clande Zobo. St. Calvados and Santini. Still out in front, Frodon, Aso not slightly on landing, uh, then ridden our road to respect, Monoli under so creeping round the inside, Footpad is following him, and then it behind these races, Balco de Flo and Coney Island, they swing the final turn, and it's still Frodon, Frodon by a length, under so scampering round the inside with a challenge, then Aso, Monoli, Footpad is getting closer in the green jacket, and then out wide road to respect, here's the second last, Frodon and Aso, Frodon on the far side, Aso coming back, under so not too good there. Out wide road to respect is battling on well. They race on towards the final fence and Frodon and Aso are battling it out still. Aso on the near side, Frodon on the far side. Chased hard by road to respect and then Mona Lee up the hill. Frodon on the far side, he's pulling out ball from Aso. Then back in third road to respect is Frodon and Rani Frost. A match made in racing heaven, he's going to see it out to win. jumper, Aso and Road to Respect running great races, and back in fourth, Mona Lee. First number six, Frodon, second number one, third number eight, and the fourth place horse, number seven. The full result to our third and the feature race of the day, the Ryanair steeplechase. First number six, Frodon, second number one, Aso. Third, number eight, Road to Respect. And the fourth placed horse, number seven, Mona Lee.